Making its first run in 1902, the 20th Century Limited was promoted as the most famous train in the world. And famous it was. Cary Grant, well, he snuck aboard the 20th Century Limited in that 1959 Hitchcock classic, North by Northwest. There he meets Eva Marie Saint, who hides him from the police. <laughs> the two establish a relationship and, well, you know the rest. If you don't know, go watch the movie. <laughs> Later though, <laughs> not now, <laughs> we're watching this. <laughs> and just like the sidecar and the aviation and possibly even the Greyhound, the 20th century cocktail is also named for a mode of transportation. Yeah, all aboard. <laughs> I love this thing. Carrying passengers between New York City and Chicago, the 20th Century Limited was the envy of the locomotive industry. It was a first-class express passenger train that was a dependable, sure, and safe way to travel. <laughs> and fast? Oh my god! <laughs> By 1938, this thing could travel 100 clicks <laughs> or 60 miles an hour and could make the trip from New York to Chicago in about 16 hours, which was four hours faster than previous trains. That was due to industrial designer Henry Dreyfus. He was commissioned by the New York Central to design streamlined trains in Art Deco style. Kind of like my ties. Very Deco, isn't it? <laughs> the 20th Century Limited had everything, and service aboard was first rate. Ticket holders would walk across a plush red carpet and that was rolled out just for them uh, to board the train, introducing the present day phrase, the red carpet treatment. <laughs> if you could afford a ticket, which was very pricey, over $50 in the 1920s, which would uh, probably be, you know, over $600 today. You could ride in luxury and style. It offered pretty rich amenities, things like a library, a barber shop, uh, secretarial services, in-house maids, and private bedrooms. Of course, a private bedroom would cost you even more. You could have your clothes being pressed while you get a shoe shine. <laughs> Yeah. Do many people shine their shoes anymore? I don't know, man. When was the last time you shined your shoes? Huh. Oh, you know, and they had fine dining, too. When the last meal was served, the room would wondrously transform into nightclub cafe century. Sadly, though, on December 2nd, 1967, at 6 p.m., the 20th Century Limited left Grand Central Terminal bound for the LaSalle Street Station in Chicago for the last time. As always, carnations were given to men and perfume and flowers to women boarding the train. Yeah. All aboard! Boarding! <laughs> the cocktail itself saw its first publication in the Café Royale Bar Book of 1937 by William J. Tarling. The drink is credited to a British bartender by the name of Charles A. Tuck. He worked in many famous hotels in England and, and abroad, starting out at the Carlton in London and later the Semiramis in Cairo. He opened the Buttery Bar at the Hyde Park Hotel and, and a new cocktail bar at Fleming's Hotel. And later he worked for a number of years at, as head bartender at the Piccadilly Hotel in London. Now, you know, many have described his drink as a mere variation of the Corpse Reviver number two, but I don't know. I, I, Really, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, you've got close to the same ingredients being used, except for the creme de cacao subbing out for the orange liqueur and, and the absinthe of absinthe. <laughs> but for me, the taste of the two drinks is completely different. It really is. Okay, let's climb aboard for one last ride on the 20th Century Limited and make a 20th Century cocktail right here in the 21st century. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All aboard! <laughs> tickets! Tickets! Get your tickets right here! <laughs> we got a glass.
don't have any tickets, but we got a glass, and we're gonna chill that down with a little bit of uh, ice and some water and set it off to the side. Okay, first thing up is gin. <laughs> Today I'm gonna use a beef eater and uh, we want one and a half ounces. One and a half ounces. Next thing is Lille Blanc. Now, if you buy Lille Blanc and you open it, you keep it in the refrigerator, okay? Why? I mean, this is, this is, a, this is a wine aperitif. And uh, it's gonna go kind of bad so keep it in the fridge, all right? Uh, three quarter rounds. Yeah. Next thing is uh, creme de cacao. And you wanna use the white creme de cacao, not the dark, because uh, the dark is just gonna make you a, a muddy drink. And um, you want um, to be really judicial in using this, maybe a half an ounce, okay? Um, it's not the star of the drink. It's just like undertones of, of chocolate. Half an ounce. Next is lemon juice. <laughs> and uh, we want a three quarter ounce of lemon juice. bit more than that. Yeah, we're in. Okay. Put some ice in our uh, shaker. Pop a lid on. <laughs> and shake it. Uh, how are we shaking today? We're shaking like you're a conductor <laughs> of the train. Woo! All aboard! Yeah! Shake it good. Steam. I don't know whether you got that or not. Anyway, what we want to do now is we want to get rid of this ice. Let's swap that out and uh, just double strain it into this wonderful chilled cocktail glass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Sweet. Mm-hmm. and garnish uh, with a little bit of a lemon rind. And I'm going to uh, just uh, twirl it up here, drop it right in our drink. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beauty. Let's give this a go. Wow, <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh yeah. Like initially you get the, the, the lemon and then the chocolate undertones come out as an aftertaste. I love it. The gin is there. I think the lile uh, kind of pulls everything together. This is a glorious, wonderful, delicious drink. You gotta make one. and garnish with a little uh, piece of uh, lemon twist rind. Okay, <laughs> and garnish. I just realized at the time of making this video how relevant this cocktail is. 
You see, here in Canada, where I live, many freight and passenger routes are blocked due to protests that began over a pipeline that cuts through native lands. So while our government tries to, uh, you know, figure this out and uh, resolve the issue, you got plenty of time to hit the subscribe button, check some other videos out, and make this delicious cocktail. It really is. Mm. Ow. <laughs> the 20th century cocktail. 20th century. Cheers.